Hello and welcome to some more Train Simulator 2020 gameplay and today we're going to be having what appears to be quite an easy run we're going to be doing the uh, Soldier Summit we're going to be doing the Westbound Zephyr Part 1 in this two-part scenario take the controls of the California Zephyr starting at Pro uh, uh, Provo before heading north to Salt Lake City and we're doing an EMD F40PH Amtrak Phase 3 jolly good I've never driven this route before. I have no idea what to expect. I don't even know uh, what to expect out of the terms of the locomotive. I'm not even sure how long the consist is going to be that we're running, to be fair. But from what I can gather, the Soldier Summit is a, uh, a fan favourite. They seem to enjoy it. So we're going to give it a bash. See what uh, see what mayhem we can cause. Again, okay, before I carry on, uh, I'd just like to thank a few people: uh, Simon, John, Meller. Uh, we then have uh, another thanks to John Tulock and uh, also David Miller as well for your contributions. That is uh, very, very much appreciated. Um, so I won't, won't disclose how much uh, they donated, but uh, please do know that uh, really does mean a huge amount contributing towards this. Any and all funds that go into that will go straight back into the channel. The link to the uh, PayPal can be found down below. And say, uh, when you do, uh, if you just like to include a little message just so I know who to thank, uh, then uh, you can do so. And I shall give you a thanks in the next video, both verbally and in the description. Okay, good morning, engineer. Morning, sir. You are at the controls of the California Zephyr. Am I really? Start by loading passengers here at Provo before heading north to Salt Lake City. I'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong. Okay. I'll do nicely. So we've got a dual header here, and we've got a lengthy train. We've got the baggage car at the rear with the uh, superliner carriages. That's actually a decent rake we've got going on here. Okay, and cab lights, instrument lighting. Okay, I think we're good. Strobe lighting. Which strobe lighting? Oh! That's strobe lighting. Okay, so... Wait, can I change that to a white? Ooh. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Let's just... Let's just... Auto. Let's just put it to auto. Okay, there's a... Uh, speed control, no, that's not too fast. If we go over here, can we actually play with any of the doors like last time? Over the windows? Nope. We can lower them, I'm sure. Can indeed. Not what I'm going to, I'm just having a play at the stage of proceedings. I hear noises. It's doing about turn. What have we got here? We have oh, one of the Rio Grande units uh, popping by with uh, what's going to be a, presumably a decent rake uh, train, unless it's going to be waiting for us. Let's just zoom in a bit. Doesn't really help me all that much. Looks like it's a long distance coal train. Don't quite know what's happening with the sky there. That's, uh, that's it. If we go down, it gets nice and bright. If we look up, not too bad. So it looks like the uh, sun is setting. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how this one plays out. Let's just hop back in the cab. Okay, passengers on board. Time to head to Salt Lake City. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that.
Okay. Just try and make, just uh, keep an eye on the old speed as we're going along. Right, let's actually look at the back. How long is this? How long is this coal train? Jesus. Good grief. That's madness. Okay, I don't know what the top speed of this train is going to be, but there's a 70 limit coming up. So we'll, uh, we'll keep doing that. It looks like we're slowly matching speed. Now I don't know what we're going to be passing and what we're not. Now if we, yeah, if we sit in here, we suddenly the sky looks that much nicer and it's very, very nice and colourful. When you sit, when you sit outside, different story entirely. Like it's significantly brighter. It's not too much of a problem though. So let's uh, just pop outside. I can see there's a decent length uh, train we have running here. Tell you what, we'll uh, turn those off for the time being. Interesting. Oh, good lord, I can. I'm sure I can shift from one side to the other. Who were? Okay, well, she's heading up to and around there. What do you actually do, Brenda? Does that actually make any difference? No. That is called wishful thinking. Hello, what have we got here then? What I like is inside the cab, it's nice and quiet. Outside, blows your head off. Who have we got then? Oh, let's have another couple of Rio Grande. We've got some box cars. And that is a... That is a decent old length we've got going off there, again. And we're still chasing this, uh, this other train. Good grief. And we quite literally just head off into the sunset. When you're sat in the cab, that sunset is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, hello. <laughs> Not paying attention to our speed. So, I don't know, I guess, uh, 50, we're accelerating still quite nicely. I really need to uh, get to grips with that. I don't know, maybe, maybe this would be okay. How are we doing on time, anyway? Uh, due through, due through late, bizarrely. Uh, okay. Can I show you the cup lights on? Yeah, why not? Let's put the cup lights back on. Ah, that would be where that uh, coal train must pass over the shoulder. Ah, it is. Right. Okay. We're sussing. We're understanding how this goes. Just zoom out a bit. Do 
Geneva westbound. Should we, um, should we nip up to... Where should we go? Here? Let's go here. A timeliness bonus. Okay. American Fork Mainline. Okay. Keep an eye on see what the American Fork Mainline is uh, is all about, shall we? So if I bring this down. So it looks like we just need to keep ferreting amongst the going up and down briefly, and we should be uh, should be golden. I will get scripts for that. A couple of wagons stationed there. What are those? Uh, not too sure what they are, actually, to be fair. Oh, we're on a single track section. When did that happen? Oh, just there. All right, then. Always helps if you pay attention to what's happening around you. Should we put some... Um... How irritating would that get? Mm, I don't know. I don't even know what... What if you put on auto? I mean, what does auto do? Ah, would that be if you're doing the bell? Yes, that's what it is. That's if you're doing the bell. And if I'm not mistaken, passenger trains, in fact, I think it might be, oh, I don't know. No, freight trains don't do it, but I know passenger trains, when coming into a station, they press their bell. I'm sure that's how it works. Oh, there's another train waiting there. So we're due through American Fork Main Line two minutes early. I wonder what American Fork Main Line is. Well, I'll find out in what? 3.9 miles? I don't think I'm going to need my wipers today. Carriage we're in back here. Chap of the beard. I do love though you can just sit, zip from one side to the other. That's fantastic. And there are uh, yeah, I didn't actually realize that um, these superliner carriages had compartments. Well, I don't know, maybe Maybe it's like a mixed bag in, in the fleet. Some do, some don't. Someone did actually tell me um, the correct method that American train engineers use when uh, coming up to level crossings. I've completely forgotten it. Just 
bring that down. Without, oh, we are climbing, aren't we? No, very, it's a very shallow gradient, but we are climbing. In fact, whilst whilst I get the opportunity to, I am going to quickly check the video in question, and I'm sure that uh, someone has told me somewhere um, the correct procedure. Do, 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 do. Let's just um, let's just do that. Right, hold on. Uh, da, da, da. Aha, here we are. Right. In the stage, the train engineer sounds four times each road crossing in fashion. Long, sh sorry, long, long, short, and long, as it goes through the crossing. Right. Okay. So, well, we won't do it here. We'll um, we'll we'll wait for the next one to to give me the um chance to do so. Ah, this will be the fork main line. Once we get a whistle board, I'm gonna. This is two longs, a short, and a long. Hope that's the correct method. I could be doing it completely wrong. I'm sure uh, you find people will tell me what I'm doing wrong. So that's just a level crossing. Then you've got the fork main line. Is this is that like a railway crossing or is it just like a, a section of track that's known as this? Uh oh, cows. Uh no, it's just a section of the line. Okay. You can see the sun is starting to set, so the glare is getting a bit less. This is a fantastic train, I love it. And I tell you what, I'm having the cab lights on. But, uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. So what names have we got here? What? That's, that's the road. We've got one, two... Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, oh, 14, a 14 car concert. Oh, we've got some more hoppers there. That is, that is a gorgeous sunset if I've ever seen one. Oh, those hoppers have seen better days, haven't they? Wire spores, as we've got another single track section coming up. Oh, hello, we're dropping to a 45. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to shut off and we're going to apply some brakes into this scenario here. I'll tell you what, the brakes are actually very, very responsive. Actually, I can just let her off at this stage and we can just coast in. Let's go back up to what? 38%? And we should be good. So let's whoop, let's now zip up here into the housing estate. Ah, whistleboard. So is there something coming up? Is there a level crossing? Ah, there's a crossing here. So let's sit here. I don't know where that board is in relation to me. Now, hopefully, I've got that right.
I'll tell you what, I love this route already. This is a belter, absolute belter. So it's a good thing that I'm not getting marked on accuracy for doing the horn on this, because I really do think that uh, I'd, I'd, I'd be guessing it wrong. For the American viewers that watch this, and for those of you who obviously know your railroads significantly better than I do, I apologise if I'm making a monumental hash of this when it comes to uh, trying to follow your procedures. But I'm sure you can appreciate uh, my knowledge of the American railroad system is limited at best. Go on, girl. <laughs> it just sounds... Oh, these F these these locos sound fantastic. Was it F forty PHs? They sound amazing. That is fantastic. I love the fact you get these single track sections as well. Then you just get these large double track sections for passing loops at some stage. That's brilliant. It's now 10 past 9. Sun is setting. Passengers in the cars down there will be asleep. Ah, that's actually, that's actually that's a point. Is that car... Ah, it is. It's one of those... Yeah, it's a um, transition car. Okay. I wanted to see if they did it. I do know that one about... Um, about these trains, they have the the corridor connected up, up high on these particular carriages. Why is it up to here? You can see there, the corridor connectors are really high, and then they have certain carriages where the corridor connector is is low for um, standard single car wagons. Okay, right now what we're going to do? We're coming through early, so we'll if we bring it down to what? 50. That then gets us to where we need to be quite comfortably. Is that a waiting train up there for us? Oh, it is. Oh, okay. So, what are you then? Let's, uh, let's hop up here, do a cheeky zoom in. Oh, okay, it's one, oh, it's one of them. Oh, what, is there a, there's a phrase for these. The, the Americans use a certain phrase when it comes to these sort of trains. Oh, I think they're, they're fantastic. What's, what's the actual name? They're not, it's not a junker, is it? Is it a junker? Is that the phrase you get for these trains? I'm not sure. I've heard it, but I don't know if you if you use it for this particular one. I'll tell you what though, the length is incredible. I'm sorry. Wait, how many? I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm going to have to zip up here. What is? What? How many locos are on this? Two. And what are they? Uh, I can't. No, it doesn't say. Two. There's two locos on. Is that a loco? Because look at the two locos on this. And there's nothing on the back, apart from the caboose. Well. Okay, you obviously trust those engines. I would have thought you would have you would have wanted something on the rear. It's a nice little gradient going downhill, isn't it? It's a very... Even though it's getting dark, it's actually a really, really nice looking map. Well, nice looking route.
let's just hop in the cab for a bit. So let's uh, let, let's turn that off. We don't need it for the time being. There's a random caboose there in the darkness. The flange! The flange! Hello, is that more rolling stock over there? It is indeed. I tell you what, I can see why this particular uh, route is a fan favourite. It is fantastic! to sell outside a bit more. I cannot wait to do some freight trains in here. Stars are coming out. Oh, this is brilliant. I'll tell you what, this is a fantastic little route. Where's well, the world? It's not even little, is it? it? It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's actually amazing how dark it gets in this cab. I don't really think we're going to need the wipers on at this point. Hello. Does that mean we're coming up to... See, I don't understand these. I don't actually understand the American signaling system for these sort of things. I mean, does, does that mean we're going to have to stop at the next signal? Does that mean that we're, we're all fine and dandy? And if, I, if I zoom in, you see, I've got... Yeah... Okay. Well, I'm going to have to slow down no matter which way I look at it, so let's just... There we go. So, I mean, if I... Okay, so I'm obviously going... there. But then, why is... Why is that green? Oh, I don't know. I'm too confused. It doesn't take much, I admit, but still... I should do. Oh, the brakes on this are fantastic. And we're going through Riverton siding east significantly early. So, I don't know, are we, are we being held there? We could be to allow a freight train coming up. So, hold on, let me zoom in. Right, so we're going... Oh, okay, that was facing the wrong way. Technical glitch. Fine. So, But that still confuses me now, because that's green, that's red. So I, I, I genuinely don't understand what these what these mean. If someone can enlighten me as to the American signaling system for, uh, for this neck of the world, 
that would be greatly appreciated so that way I've, I've got a better understanding of what it is I'm actually doing at a later date. So we're we going up here. Right, okay, we're going up here. Why is that green when I'm coming up this way? Very strange. Ah, I'm stopping. Okay. Get Riverton side in west. That's fine. So I must be waiting for a freight train to come up. There's something there, unless a star that's uh, quite low to the, to the uh, horizon. Six point something miles in there, I reckon that's a star. So let's hop back in here, let's do a cheeky zoom. Yeah, it was a star, so okay, I am waiting. So I'm gonna be wait. I am waiting for a Frank train to come up. Okay, right. So then we cross back over, hit the 70, I can open up the taps, I can give it the beans, and we're all fine and dandy. Why don't you, have I got the cap lights on still? Yes I do. Okay, that's fine. How does, uh, how does my chap look? Oh, he's got a mate! Oh, jolly good, yeah, he's got a friend with him. Oh, excellent. Right, let's just go back here, let's, uh, zoom in. And that's what we're going to be coming over the horizon, so, uh, that'll be fine. We can just, uh... Hold fire and wait. To be honest, half the passengers are asleep anyway. They don't even probably even know that we're going to get a freight train past us. In fact, it might even be a freight train. It could be the uh, could be the return journey of, of our one. Uh, I can't see any. Ah, you're there. Oh, so it wasn't a star. It was. Uh, okay, I was right. Is it really worth me? Is it really? Shut up. Okay, what a bill. I'll just do it as that, seeing as I'm not actually approaching anything at the moment. Be a different story if I was stopping, admittedly, but I'm not. And we shall now wait. Presumably, oh, wrong thing. Uh, well, you guys may as well go because I'm going to be sat here for a while. Let's go this side. Do, do, do zoom in. You are. Don't know if you actually are moving at the moment or if you're staying stationary. Ah, that was the scenario done. Okay, jolly good. All right, in part two, you continue on journey to Salt Lake City. Great driving there, engineer. Scenario complete. Well, there we go. I tell you what, that wasn't actually that. That was that was quite a decent little one actually. A nice one to sort of break you in. That was, a, that was actually quite a nice little one. Nothing too ex extravagant, but uh, very, very good nonetheless. Most enjoyable. So, let's uh, nip down. Okay, so the next part is going to be part two at 20 past nine. Cloudy in the summer. Jolly good. Right, starting at Riverton. We'll continue on with our journey. That was uh, an excellent little journey, and I really look forward to seeing you all in the second part. So... Uh, thank you all very much for watching, it's greatly appreciated. If you have enjoyed what you've seen today, then please do like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment, I do go back to them as and when I get the tunes to. And if you guys would like to help donate to the channel, you can do by going to the PayPal link found down below. Any and all funds that go into that will go straight back into the channel. And as mentioned at the top of the show, a big shout out to uh, the, the uh, donators, shall we say. I'm trying to think of the, the correct wording to, to go with that one then. 
but it was yeah, it was uh, big shout outs to John Tudok, Simon John Miller, and uh, David Miller as well. So a massive thank you to uh, to you guys for donating to my channel. That really is uh, most appreciated. So uh, thank you all, and I shall catch you all later. Take care, guys. Goodbye.